What's up, people? Welcome back. And if you are new, this is the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Total Operating Systems Today Technology for Beginners and Beyond. And today's magic number is number 16, as in the Manjaro Linux Operating System, continuing the 30-day challenge. I'm going to use this uh, Manjaro Linux. I'm going to show you here in a moment in a virtual box from the eyes as best I can from the eyes of a beginner or how a beginner might think trying to run Manjaro Linux. So let's take a look. Okay, so the install went fine in the previous challenge test. So let's see if a beginner could figure out updates. Now I have been told that the best way and the fastest way is to install updates using the terminal. However, that is probably going to scare away a new user. So let's see if we can do it, do the updates a different way by nice search bar there, software update. Let's click that and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have 148 available updates and total download size. Uh, okay, let's just kick, click apply, not kick apply. Don't want to kick it anywhere. To install, that's fine. A new user will have no idea what this means, but that's okay. Okay, of course, the password. So far, so good. And we will let this install, looks like some headers and some other stuff. And so we'll let this install. And uh, sometimes you have to reboot in Linux, sometimes you don't. But we'll take a look. Now you can browse through this as it is, as it's installing. Let's see, right click here, sound menu. Okay, pretty much self-explanatory here. The time is in 24 hour format. Let's see if we can change that properties. Uh, let's go digital is fine. Uh, let's see. We'll use that for date and I guess that'll work there like that time zone. Well, I am in Eastern. So would I type in EST? Yes, I would. Okay. That was easy. Uh oh, it just changed to 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. It's actually 11 o'clock. Let's see. EST. Let's try this one. Okay, so EST 5. That might be UTC negative 5, I think. But once again, I think a beginner would figure that out. So that's fine. All right, what do we have here? So doing the usual install okay the usual updates let's um it's not a lot 483 is not a lot. it shouldn't take more than a few minutes uh, my internet here is usually pretty good so let me pause this recording and uh i'll be right back okay welcome back well it's been over what five six minutes maybe longer and this is taking too long in my opinion. Uh, I'm still waiting for it to download the updates, not even installing yet. And I've, I've been told that this might be a problem. So try to uh, download and update update this the beginner newbie way. For me, it's it's not going to work, or at least not the way it should. Now, the, the best way I've been told is through the terminal command. So I'm going to cancel this because it's taking way too long. It should never take this long for any Linux distribution, especially if, if you know if you have fast internet. So let's get out of this and I'm gonna have to pause the video because I have a little cheat cheat sheet here somewhere and uh, see if I can remember how to do updates using the uh, terminal command. So I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I had to run a bunch of terminal commands to get this running the way it should. One more command. Let's see. Pacman space dash su, I think. Running. Okay. All right. That looks about right. So let's go ahead and continue. All right. So this is the preferred way from what I've been told to update Manjaro and probably Arch. It 
seems fine, but is this for beginners, for newbies? I don't think so. At least that's my it, my opinion. It's just too much. I hate to say, but it's just too much work. Uh, the first way that I try to install should be the very newbie or very beginner friendly way to install. Now maybe in the end if, if, if we had an extra, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, probably would have installed if, if anybody's going to stick around that long. As bad as that sounds, that's probably still better than updating Windows 10. Yeah, but Anyway, this is going to upgrade the system up through the updates and I don't I do not foresee any issues. So that being said, it seems to be working now and that's it. That's all I have for this one. I'm gonna let it finish up and I do not foresee any problems. So that's my look at updating Manjaro Linux, the XFCE version. That's all I have for this one. Those of you who run this uh, every day, if you have any more tips, please let me know. I'll be happy to mention that in the next video. So I hope this was fair, as fair as I can be, uh, doing this, trying to do this from the eyes of a beginner. That's all I had for this one. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't. Maybe support the channel if you can. And I'm moving on to the next test of the Manjaro. Linux challenge. Bye-bye.